think first step of every drawing is to tape your page down nice and straight. So, and that's what we'll do. There we go. And then we'll add in our title block and our border. So quarter inch border, half inch title block. Quarter, quarter. And then we'll divvy out our different areas of our title block. So four, three, two, one and a half. So as I mentioned in the presentation, there are kind of two main types of obliques that we'll draw like in engineering style drawings. There are cabinet ones and there are cavalier ones. And we'll do a couple of different um, or we'll definitely demo at least the two types. For this one, we'll do it as a cabinet oblique, which means that when we do our depth, we're going to go back just half that depth. And you could do it at any angle as long as you're just consistent with the angle. So I'll show you what I mean. In this one, I'll do it with a 30 angle, and then in another drawing, I'll do it with like a 45. Um, so as long as you're consistent with your angle, it's not really too important for which one you use kind of just more visually what you are trying to go for. But with obliques, we're going to draw that front view exactly as it would appear in an orthographic. So I'm just going to use my tools to just kind of start my front view. So I'll just do some guides to start it. And I'm just going to measure that I have an overall length in my front view of four. So I'll measure over four. And I have an overall height of two and a half. So I'm just drawing out my front view just like I would if I was doing an orthographic. My eraser is gonzo. They erase a lot, kiddos. Um, I'll add in that little kind of hole feature here that we can see with the hidden lines just goes through the whole object. So that is three quarters of an inch up from the edge and three quarters of an inch in is where it starts. So I'm just kind of measuring out where that piece might start. It's right here. And then it is two and a half wide, it says. And it is also three quarters of an inch from that top as well. Or I guess that'd be one inch in total height. So I'm just drawing the front view exactly how it looks. Now, I'll project back at an angle. So I'm just going to project 30 degrees back from each of these corners. And let me, since I'm a little close to the bottom of the board, I'll just flip it this way. 
So that'll then help establish the depth for my side view. And since I'm going to be doing a cabinet oblique on this one, I'm going to go back half the depth. So the depth in total is one and a half, but I'm going to go back three quarters to do it as a cabinet. So I'm just going to measure three quarters right there and on this one as well. Because really, the nice thing is, is that since I'm going to project this line up parallel to this one, it'll leave three quarters of an inch right up here as well. So I don't even have to measure that. And when I project that across parallel, it'll make this three quarters of an inch as well. I'll just do this little back piece of this part inside and get rid of any guides that I need to. And I have this shape as a cabinet oblique. Now for the name of it, let me just double check because I do not remember. This one's called the spacer. <laughs> So for its name is spacer, always we're lettering, neat in all caps, and then your own name. The date, which, well, why am I blanking? <laughs> oh, I just want to write the name, the word date. Duh, you want to write the date that you actually drew this on, the scale which we drew this as one to one, and then the drawing number, which this is drawing one of one. 